project is set up now we will go to the gradle scripts in which will gradle module we will click on it after coming in it we have to add some build feature yes it is a custom build feature that we have to add here so we will type build feature and we'll open the curly braces and make the view binding is equals to true okay after that we will come into the dependencies section and in dependency section we have to add few dependencies here so let me add them first i will type implementation then com dot google dot android dot material and afterwards its version one point one one zero and the second dependency in which I'll type android x dot legacy support and we have to give the version for it let me give the version v for 1.00 okay afterwards one more dependency that is android x dot coordinator layout and we also have to add the version for it of course every dependency have its version okay now the another one it is implementation and com dot google dot android dot play and its version let me add it 1.8.0 so these are the basic dependencies that we have to add in our project and we'll click on sync now so that our dependencies will be downloaded and now we will come to the main activity and we'll create a package in a java module and it is fragment okay and in this we have to add up a fragment so let me come to the fragment and select fragment blank afterwards we have to give the name of the fragment so i will give the fragment name as our fragment click on finish as you can see that fragment is created under the module fragments okay so for now we have to go to in the design section that is in the layouts and here we have to create a layout resource file actually not one we have to create few xml files here the first one is contained underscore man as we are working on the fragments and you know the main activity so we'll be adding the containment within that main activity afterwards we have to create another thing but uh, first let me check so we'll split it and afterwards as you can see that uh, we have to add few properties here like show in layout activity main so this content main will merge into activity main after that we have to add the tool context for the main activity to connect this xml file with the main activity java and then we have to add a layout behavior here in which we will 
select a string app bar scrolling view behavior okay now within this constraint layout we have to add few views like the first one is linear layout having width and height as match parent match parent orientation is vertical after that we have to add scroll view within the linear layout and its width is match parent and height 0 dp layout weight is 1 and now within this scroll layout we have to add a recycler view here and for the recycler view the width and heights are match parent and wrap content respectively after that we have to add id for this recycler view and i will give the id as recycler underscore content and now you have to make sure how the scroll bar will work either vertically or horizontally i will select as the vertical so now we are the outside this scroll view and we have to add card view afterwards the scroll view and its properties are like width and height match parent and wrap content now we have to add the gravity and the gravity is selected as bottom afterwards we have to add few more attributes for this view like layout margin and i will select the layout margin as a dp here so now i have to add elevation for the card so it's a card elevation and it will be 4 dp here afterwards now there's a card corner radius we have to you know give the corners for the card view and its radius is 8 dp okay the corners will be rounded and now within this card view we are adding one more linear layout with properties like width and height as match parent and wrap content orientation is selected as horizontal and gravity is center layout margin is 16 dp and within this linear layout or inside this linear layout as you can see that uh, we are uh, working on this code but it is not showing in the right side actually it is connected to that main activity xml that's why so let me show you the code only so that you will not get confused okay now we have to add text input edit text and its attributes are width as 0 dp height as wrap content and weight as 1 now we have to add id for this as edit message and now i will give the hint enter message here after that i have to add text color hint here and i will give the text color hint as a darker gray color and now i have to give the text color that is by default black but i'm giving it just for the sake of full coat okay now the text experience appearance and we are taking it from the style library in which text appearance dot app compact dot medium okay so that this text input added text will have medium text and now we have to add you no know, maximum lines 
so i will select s5 and text alignment is text start to so the text is start from the left side and now the text style is normal by default is also normal and now the background so i'm adding a color to the background and it is transparent okay this is also i think by default present and now we have to add image view here with the properties such as width and height as wrap content wrap content and i'm giving the id for this as btn underscore sand underscore button also the background is transparent for this image button and now let me add margin from the start is taken as 16 layout gravity is being set here as center vertical and now this image view is almost completed but we have to add the source image for this and now we have to generate the source image that is the send button source image you can see it it is present in the drawable if we are going to generate it right click on it go to new then vector assets and then click on this clip part after that you have to search for the sand and here you will be able to see this button and now you have to change the color so let me try to change it and i will take it as blue okay and we'll click on next finish so uh, this is also almost done just we'll add it here after this we have to add few more views let me see so first of all i've clicked on undo button just that's why it is removed but i'll add it here okay let me remove the extra space everything is good here there is nothing to bury again okay. so now i'll just remove the extra space yes so everything is added right now almost everything is completed i've removed all the space and now if you have messed up anywhere then pause the video and correct your code okay so for now let me go to activity underscore main dot xml go to its code and we have to add few properties or the attributes here first of all let me remove this text view from here after that i will be adding a bar layout here with properties width and height as match parent and wrap content let me try to add some theme here and it is present in the style library style uh, slash app theme i think it is not created yet style is custom but it is having some by default properties okay so let me try to add this app bar overlay and now within this app bar layout you have to add more properties here like uh, toolbar we are going to adding here yeah and then the width is taken as match parent and the height is taking from the adder as x and bar size height and now the background is being 
changed with the same as taking as null label attribute and taking the color as color primary so that it it will be synchronized to that uh, app bar okay and now the pop up theme we are going to add here i think theme is not really necessary to add okay so we are just adding it just to look more attractive and now we'll remove this extra space from here but as you can see that there are lots of error not lots of only three error first is removed and now these two but uh, before this let me add or include that content man in this main activity how to do it you just add uh, have to add include and give the ideas content man then you have to add that layout it is present in the layout named as content underscore main close it okay so for now uh, i'm more worried about these two properties that uh, we have error in this file okay so let me see if we have any another option we, i go to that values okay there's no style the theme is by itself present here so i think it is not necessary to add the theme so let me remove the theme from here okay and from here too so now you can see that it is error free and here you can see that uh, but we have to add some margin so let me try to add margin here this margin from the top is 50 db and now i think some more margin is needed let me go back and add some margin here as 60 let me see now it is looking good but uh, we need to add margin from the left side too so here i'm adding margin from the left is 15 dp it will look more good okay so now it is fine and everything is working for right now and now let me come to this fragment underscore power dot xml and as you can see that this is a blank fragment for this fragment we have to watch the next video thank you